Label Planet's World of How To presents How To Complete Label Templates Using Copy and Paste in Word Copy and Paste The quickest way to create a sheet of identical labels is to add your design to the top left label and use copy and paste to complete your template. However, you must not paste your design into any gaps between the labels, as this could throw off the alignment. Sheets of labels tend to have one of three layouts. No gaps between labels. Gaps between columns. Gaps between columns and rows. You'll need to complete your template in a slightly different way for each layout. First, add your design to the top left label and select this label. Here we have added our design to the top left label. Our design includes an image and some text. We can select both items individually but need to select the whole label to complete our template. We can click and drag the cursor to select both items, but this doesn't select the label itself. We need to click and drag past the edge of the label but this also selects the next label along. Move the cursor back over the edge of the label to select just the first label. The selected label is now highlighted in grey from edge to edge. You can also move your cursor to the bottom left corner and triple click, this is quite tricky. The easiest way to select a label is to place your cursor anywhere inside the label. Click on the Table Tools Layout tab to find the Select option. And click on Select Cell. But what if your design fills your label so you can't click on the label? Move your cursor into the label next to or below your first label. And use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move your cursor into the first label. You can now use the Select option to select the first label and copy it. Now you've selected and copied your first label, you need to paste it into the rest of your template. Remember, there are three different layouts, and you'll need to select your labels carefully so you only paste your design into the labels, and not into any gaps between them. How to complete label templates with no gaps between labels? There are two ways to complete a label template with no gaps. Click and drag. Move your cursor to the top left corner of the first label, click and hold the left button, while dragging your cursor to the last label, then release. Select columns. Move your cursor over the last column so it turns into a downwards facing black arrow, click and hold the left button, while dragging your cursor over the first column, then release. How to complete label templates with gaps between columns. In templates with gaps between columns, select all columns representing labels, but not those representing gaps. Move your cursor over the last column until it turns into a downward facing black arrow. Click once to select that column, selected columns are highlighted by gray bars. Move your cursor over the next label column. On your keyboard, hold down Ctrl for Windows or Command for Mac while you click to select the second column. Repeat for each column in your template, but not the columns representing gaps. How to complete label templates with gaps between columns and rows. Templates with gaps between columns and rows are the hardest to complete because you can't just paste into a whole column or row. You could paste each label individually but this takes time, especially in templates like this one with 84 labels per sheet. The easiest way to speed things up is to copy and paste an entire row. First, select your top row and the gap row below it. Copy your row. Move your cursor to the second row of labels and paste your row. For larger designs, click in an adjacent label and use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move into the label you want to select. Click Select Cell under Table Tools Layout. Hold down shift on your keyboard as you use the right arrow to select the rest of the row, and the down arrow to select the row below. You can keep pasting row by row, but you can speed things up again by selecting and copying a number of rows. Remember to select the gap row below the last label row in your batch. Do not paste into the last row. The content you are pasting includes a gap row at the bottom and you will end up adding a gap row to the bottom of your template. Instead, finish your last row by copying and pasting one of your completed labels.
Label templates with gaps between rows. Sheet labels are rarely made with gaps between rows, however, you will need to complete this kind of layout if you use labels with gaps between columns in their landscape orientation. To complete this layout use the same steps as for labels with gaps between columns and rows. Thank you for watching.